nine years of age, each of them. Rachel, she's only eight months older than Rambo. Right? So Rambo is 6.5 tons, Rachel 3.8 tons. Even though she's a little bit, uh, a little bit older, eight months, but you're gonna see size difference as well. Right. So Rambo and Rachel, they originated from Wangi National Park in Zimbabwe. They were part of what we call culling operation. Do you all understand the word culling? Culling is when you have too many animals in one piece of land and you want to bring numbers down to the minimum. With elephants, you cannot just cull one or two out of the You need to bring down the whole entire head because elephants have got unique form. So they cannot survive with one another, they need each other, they are different. So when this culling operation was taking place, it was Rambo, Rachel, and his brother Rogan were part of this culling operation. At that time, they were at the age of two years of age, very young elephants. Now the colors, they said they have enough shooting during the day. They're gonna continue next morning. So they managed to spare these guys, put them in a close area. The aim was to shoot them come next morning. So something just brought, something just happened during the night. Because these guys they start uh, they manage to put these three young elephants, put them in a close area and they start looking after them. When they start feeding them, give them water, milk, and also some fruits as well. So the bond between the guys and the elephants just grew up overnight. Come next morning, they couldn't go ahead with the plan of shooting them because it was, so, it was something terrible for them to do. So they just decided to keep them for five years. After five years, they're going to, to introduce these guys to the world again. But also this couldn't wait because elephants in a young age, they spend time with people. Now for them to be introduced to the world head, it was also, or it was also something hard for them to do. Now they start misbehaving around. Where rubber start putting out the water pipes on the ground, pushing the Jojo tanks down to the roads. That was a sign when another came to plan to put us in the world boots. But because we are forcing us to do well, then it was a and even his brother Rocket was also pushing the game fuels to water cores. So you can imagine next minute you are watching the video, you are next to the water cores, watching the video, and you popped up. Next minute you find yourself in the water cores. So they say enough is enough. They couldn't go ahead with the plan of having a bar, they just decided to put it down. So Robert's brother is no longer with us because it was so hard for them to look after him. That's why I want to have Rambo and Rachel. So to cut in short, these guys are rescuing elephants. They move from one place to another because that's sad, they were lucky to get infection. So we put these guys from Pinda. So they move, they move from Ubruga, I mean Wang National Park, Ubruga from Ubruga to Pinda. So we put these guys in the year of 2000, they have been here for two years. And we have been doing infection for 17 years. And here they live for the home. They spend time with the guys and us. They also live and want elephants. That's why it's easy for these guys. By you guys coming, we say thank you very much for coming. Because without you guys, these guys are going to go back to the old ways, but they're going to start, start misbehaving right at the end. You end up shooting them to the town as well. So thank you very much for coming. And that's the history of this class. Boy is going to raise up the trunk and the tusks up, and he's going to open up his mouth for you guys. What well, I want you guys to do is to have a look inside. We're gonna see the molars, tongue, and also the two nose on top of his mouth. That's what we call the check or guys or second nose as well. And this time I'm going to ask you guys to grab a big handful and fit Rambo inside his mouth.
Rachel's just throwing things at you. Yeah, she is. So elephants, guys, they also water dependent animals. They need to drink water every single day. So what we have in these buckets, the big one, that's a 25 liter bucket, the small one, 20 liter bucket. Remember in one sitting, you're gonna suck up to 20 liter bucket of water, one sitting. You can even drink more than that, depending on how hot it is, a maximum of 180 liters of water every single day. Are you all ready, guys? Okay. So we got no questions, eh? No questions around? So Rambo started. That's in Wow. One wow. Oh my gosh. If you missed the first one, there's a second one there. <laughs> wow. Amazing. Wow. You hear him flushing down the throat. <laughs> Just listen to this noise if you decide to drink. Oh Just like a toilet being flushed. <laughs> <laughs> so elephants, they also communicate in what we call the infrared sounds. They make raw grabbing noise from the pit of their stomach, so they communicate in that way. So for example, Rambo gonna make that raw grabbing noise from the pit of his stomach, something like that. So that noise will travel from the so gonna travel from the stomach, fit, uh, bone structure, fit structure message to the ground. Another elephant will receive that message from anywhere between 20 to 50 kilometers far side. So that if that sound is gonna hit the ground, fit face, bone structure, message to the brain, that's how they communicate in that oh way. Maybe I've amazing. seen the elephants standing in their toes like this, that's how they get that kind of information. Don't ask me what they say, but they speak in that way as well. Guys. Wow. The same, uh, the, you might be wondering why the big elephant at this size, when they walk, they walk, they make no noise. It's because they're walking in the tiptoes as well. So underneath of their feet, they've got a cushion of muscle, padding, and fats. So whenever they place their feet on the ground, it makes no noise. Whenever they try to lift up, it contracts. So it works like shock absorbers as well. They've got a sponge underneath there to start to, start to make them silent moving as well. So they walk in the tiptoe the same way the balanas and cats does. Elephants walk on the tiptoe as well. Cats. So myself and Pussy, we are the elephant handles. We need to walk behind these guys every single day. From anywhere between 5 to 7 p.m. every single day. Wherever they want to go, we just need to follow them behind. This is only during the day. The night hours, there's an enclosure down there where we put them in a closed area. We don't force them to go inside. They go there willingly as well. Because elephants, they, uh, these guys, they used to be in a bomber in a young age. So they take the bomber as their safe haven during the night as well. So we have a single day, we have a distance of you know, between 15 to 20 kilometers. Wherever they want to go, we just need to throw them behind. Alright, so we're also in a reserve of big five. Where we've got animals including elephants, lions, buffaloes, wild or black rhinos, and even the leopards as well. But when I say <laughs> you, we don't call any weapon. Why do we need to call a weapon when we have elephants on our side? So this guy, the two chase animals for us, just two, four days ago, we come encounter of four male lions, but Rachel managed to chase them off just to protect us as well. Yes, indeed, these guys have become, we become part of the world. <laughs> uh, they are good guys, they are good guys for us. They are also good guys as well. Wow. Elephants are also known to be very intelligent. These guys, they've got good memories, and also they do mourn their loved ones as well. So these guys, they're going to remember anywhere between 20 to 15, uh, 20 to 25 years. So if you may, may plan to come back next time, let's hope that have been nice to them today. If you come back next time, these guys will remember you guys one by one as well. And also they do mourn their loved ones through the eyes, and also through the temporal gland that I showed you earlier. 
So this guy, this guy is the one. Yeah, man. Fuck it, too much. They still mourn for, uh, for their daughters. They're gonna do that for next two years as well. So yeah, that's why these guys every single day before they make their way up here, they stop to wear the bones of their da daughter. You know, we, we put somewhere down there, so they go there and sniff around. Wow. And start